Hi everyone and welcome to the first video of 18. We have been flat out on the road to Saskatchewan since Christmas through New Year's. It has been brutally cold. It's the same today, minus 40 through that windshield. We are heading back to Saskatchewan again for more repairs today. So we thought we'd throw up the camera and bring you along. Still a remnant of Christmas there. See there's an antler, a deer antler stuck onto his window on the front door of the Jeep there. It's not a bad place in the summer. You're actually getting into grasshopper country out here because we're right on the border between Alberta and Saskatchewan. In fact, Lloydminster maintains their title as Canada's only border city, where it straddles right down Main Street between Saskatchewan and Alberta. And we'll get to that in a few minutes when we get down to the wire, to the line. Most of the times I come out here, it is cold. God, it's cold out here. When the wind blows, it cuts right through you. Brutal country. Oh, ice, ice on the roads. Wheels are spinning. Couple of great big cranes in there on the road. So this main artery that we're traveling on east-west, the Yellowhead Highway, runs right through the middle of Lloydminster. So it's a busy road. Lots of trucks, heavy transport. 
just up ahead there you can see what looks like power poles stood up there. There's three clearly visible there. There's actually four of them, orange poles stuck up in the air. In fact, they're 100 feet tall and they mark the line between Alberta and Saskatchewan. So there we are, we're about a block away. And we got a red light. So there's three in front of us there. I'm gonna just clear the police station and there's the fourth one over there. And those markers represent the four pillars of the community here. Agriculture, oil field, the native peoples, and the original settlers, the bar colonists who first settled in this country. Well, at least this Lloydminster country anyway. And there up on the, uh, the pole it says the Alberta-Saskatchewan border. So these European settlers who first settled here, the bar colonists, really did have an extremely tough, tough time. And I'm sure many of them perished. And look at it today. So there we are. We're in Alberta now. And now we're in Saskatchewan. Just like that. Who was it did that? That was uh, Tommy Cooper. Just like that. Not like that, like that. I've driven this road so many times I know where each of these manholes is, these potholes in the road. And you learn to drive around them as much as you can. And if you don't, well, it will certainly remind you where it is. There's another one. So what's really driving Lloydminster is oil. The biggest employer in the area here is certainly Husky Energy. And this is their great big building here on the right. There's a brand new office complex they've built. And just on the other side of town here, they have their refinery and upgrader because the oil in this country is very, very, very heavy crude oil. And when I say heavy, it is like tar, bitumen, especially at this time of the year, it literally solidifies. It's that thick, looks like asphalt. So it's very expensive oil to produce. Very expensive. But Husky has decided to make a stand here. And as the price of oil in the world has increased, they seem to be making a go of it. So basically, they're taking the heavy crude that comes out of the ground and either refining it to a certain degree to make it a bit lighter and more manageable, flowable, if you will, or diluting it with what is called condensate, which is a very, very light petroleum liquid. In fact, it's the lightest liquid before a liquid turns into a vapor. So they mix the crude oil with condensate to dilute it and then it can be pumped down a pipeline to the refineries, usually in the states where it's warmer, Texas, Louisiana, refinery row. But to get it to that stage, it costs a lot of money. It really does. A lot of money. 
So pretty much everything in this town is oil field based now. It used to be agriculture. Now it's oil field and related construction, transportation. Lloyd Minster's done well. And off to the right here, you can see the refinery smoking up the skyline. There's another shot of it. Trucks and oil field equipment for sale beside the road. But that's the upgrader for Husky Energy. Oh, it looks like we got something going on in here with the railway. Perhaps a derailment there. You don't usually get that much activity without something going on. There's the locomotives sitting there. So that was Lloyd Minster. We keep heading east. is most unusual but it is so cold out there I cannot keep going my feet are like two blocks of ice and it is brutal with the wind oh here's a, another trucker coming in Aski Apoi. That is Aboriginal, one of the tongues for fluid of the earth, or fluid from the earth, which means the tanker belongs to one of the Indian bands here in Saskatchewan who are working for this oil company. So there we are. We're heading out of here. Another Another few hours of driving, and we'll be home. We got done what we had to do today, but it is so cold. Trying to bend hydraulic hoses into position, and even trying to pour oil. 1540 engine oil is just like thick, thick honey. It will pour very, very slowly and trying to get it through a funnel or something like that is ridiculous. So I heated up as much oil as I could in the truck here and we got done what we had to do, but uh, the weather's gonna break here in a couple of days and we'll be up to uh, right around freezing point which will be just tropical. So in the meantime, we're going to call our quits and head for the house.
So I hope you enjoyed our little journey today. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.